All I know is hard work, it's hard work. Dedication, all I know is hard work. It's hard work. Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Shine, man. Thanks for tuning in. Support is everything to me, so make sure y'all like, share, and comment. Make sure y'all follow the page for all the updates. Let's get it. All right, what's up, y'all? Right now, I'm watching some um, Lamont Peterson highlights, trying to get a good analysis of. Uh, <clears throat> Earl Spence Jr. versus Lamont Peterson. It's the next next big match coming up as far as Earl, Earl Spence goes. Beginning of the year, January 20th, 2018. Just had the first press conference yesterday, I believe. Um, <clears throat> so I'm watching some highlights. They're showing some highlights between him and Danny Garcia right now. What I'm seeing from Lamont is just he got good footwork. He's very athletic. Very athletic, man. Um, good one, too. Good jab, good defense. Decent defense. Body work, body work, definitely. <clears throat> I know it's gonna be a t it's gonna be a dog fight for real. I can see it being a dog fight. He's a, he's a, he's definitely a beast in there. He's a good boxer, quality boxer, man. Um, <clears throat> the mistakes Danny Garcia made, even though he won the fight towards the end when Lamont Peterson started actually fighting back, he he would if Lamont Peterson would have been fighting like how he was in his last couple rounds, like round twelve, he's beating Danny Garcia. You know what I'm saying? But he started late. You feel me? So it's gonna be a good match, man. It shows that he got talent. Um. I think with um, Lamont Peterson versus Timothy Bradley, he got out of work. Timothy Bradley kept letting his hands go and use defense. So with Earl Spence, Earl Spence is a he's 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 got defense right in a pocket, right in it. He knows his distance and he uses his defense very well. But he's not one of those people that runs around a ring. You know what I'm saying? So that makes a difference with Lamont Peterson. So we're gonna see how they how it plays back. Um, I don't know if it's a 50-50, though, like, because Earl Spence has been dominating, guys. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't had any close fights. Hasn't had any close fights, so I don't see this one being a close fight. And Lamont Peterson has to fight a certain way to make sure it's not a, a close fight with Earl Spence because he going there and he's playing around, man, and um, walking around too much and not letting his hands go. He got to let his, he got to fight Earl Spence, how he fought him, how he fought Danny Garcia towards the end because Earl Spence is going to take care, take advantage of any opportunity. And if you watch Earl Spence versus Kell Brook, Kell Brook showed that uh, he can make it a difficult fight with Earl Spence by letting your hands go and using your power and throwing your combinations as well. So throwing your punches, you know, not just punches and bunches, but placing your shots right and sitting on your punches and, you know, being fundamentally sound, you know. And Lamont Peterson is fundamentally sound. Lamont Peterson got knocked down with Amerikan. Well, it was kind of like a slip. He was off balance. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? That shows that he, he makes a little bit of mistakes, man. All that moving around, he kind of over-exaggerates his, his movements a little bit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And Eric, he do that with Earl Spence, you can get caught off, caught off, get caught doing that because Earl Spence is a sharpshooter, you feel me? He's going to take advantage of every little opportunity that he could get. Man, but it's going to be a dope fight. It's going to be a dope fight. It's going to set. But if, 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 if Lamont Peterson goes in there and boxes, it's going to get be a and, – and Earl Spence wins, it's going to be a good – um, experience for preparing for Keith Thurman going forward. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna be some great work for for to prepare for Keith Thurman. It's like live sparring. That's what this is. If he wins this, you know what I'm saying? Lamont Peterson definitely can get the upset. Um, but I, I'm favoring Errol Spence a little bit more. A little bit more, man. I don't think it's 50-50 just off of the fact that Lamont Peterson definitely has losses. He's been knocked down before, and he's been the distance with fighters before. He's been outworked before. So that shows you that he's not as complete as he needs to be. And Earl Spence has been TKOing and KOing his fighters. You know, he hasn't had that much step up in competition, but 
when he has fought, he's been dominating. You know, he's fought damn near, you know, every style he's dominated. So, you know, even keep uh, um, Kell Brook, he adjusted. It wasn't his best performance, but he adjusted and he ended up coming out on top. So I want y'all to tell me what y'all predict for this fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Lamont Peterson, definitely a tough fighter. You know what I'm saying? If you don't watch him and you kind of go off of what you think of him, you'll forget how good he is as a fighter and you'll kind of um, just count him out all together. But I can't count him out. It just depends if he com if he comes in completed. You know what I'm saying? Because he... Earl Spence is not like these other guys. Earl Spence is going to bring it to you, wear you down, break you down. He's not going to stand for that, you know what I'm saying? You running around the ring like Danny Garcia, you know, he's going he gonna to know how to cut off the ring and attack at the right places and use close defense. So, they, man, it's going to be crazy. But um, that's my thoughts, man. I'm giving it to Earl Spence. I don't, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna do a, a official fight prediction a little bit closer to the fight when I see some more training footage and just hear some more information about these guys and how they feeling right now because past performances are good, but we talking about current because you can't go off of who they beat to determine who they who go, who they're gonna win against. You know what I'm saying? Or who they got beat against? So that's my take, man. I'm gonna leave it at that. Y'all comment. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the page because I'm gonna be stepping up my video game. You know, going for it and just follow uh, uh, reporting on a lot of fights, man. It's your boy Sean Fit, man. Greatness is a lifestyle. Y'all stay focused, stay blessed out there, man. Let's get it.